Hey everyone, this is Tim from Your Six Studios. Today in this video, I'm going to be showing off this Caperave 15.6 uh, little portable monitor for my laptop that I ended up buying off Amazon. And I got this on sale for about $62, and it's quite convenient. I'm going to be using this when I travel around. And there's multiple different ways that you can connect this to uh, your devices. So I have it connected to my phone right now, and it's just using Samsung DeX, which is like a desktop version of Android and it's very easy to set up so you can see it's working with my phone quite well and it works with your PlayStation your Xbox and I have a USB-C connection to a USB-C connected to my phone works right away and then I'm using a USB-C to a regular USB for power so there's multiple different ways that you can power this up as well and I'm gonna go ahead and just connect it to my PC so I have an HDMI to uh, HDMI uh, plugged into my laptop on the back here. And I'm just gonna plug this in to uh, my actual monitor here. So let's unplug the USB cable for power and then uh, we can leave this cable plugged in. So here's the USB on the side here and the HDMI and then we have a USB on top. So we have two USB-Cs on this side, HDMI and this side uh, for power, we can plug in uh, uh, another device with a regular USB. So you can see right there. And then we got like, uh, what is this? We can just press this up and down. It looks like brightness right here. So typically I just leave it a lot lower. And this does have a speaker in it. So I could play uh, a speaker off of this. It's still showing my phone on here now. So now I have like the regular mode on here for my phone. So I can go to YouTube. Let's see if we can actually get some audio on here, but I know it was working. So we can go to this channel right here. And you can barely hear it. Something about uh, ChristianPhilippina.com. So you can see that's working. Now, what I could do, it looks like this actually is running off of my, my phone for power, which is really interesting. <laughs> I didn't know it could do that. Um, yeah, so I have a USB-C to USB-C and it's running off my phone's pat uh, battery unless it's connected to my monitor that's giving a battery. Let me disconnect my HDMI cable and see if that's, nope. Yeah, that is interesting. I didn't know that I could do that. So I'm powering the monitor from my phone. And what I could do is unplug this so you can see it disconnected because the battery is uh, coming from my phone or the power is. And now what I can do is connect it to the USB-C slot on my computer, my laptop. And now I'm going to get power via this method as well. That is really cool. I didn't know I could do that. So if you got like a, a tablet or something, you want to have two screens, well, you can just power it right there. Boom. And you can see my screen kicked in automatically uh, because I'm using this HDMI to HDMI cable right here. And then I have a couple of different other cables with me. Um, you can get something like this off of the internet, uh, HDMI to USB-C. So there's tons of different ways that you can connect this. Now that is one bad thing. Uh, the kickstand on the back, it's not very uh, effective. Uh, it can fall over a little bit. But the nice thing is if you're traveling, well look at this. I'll just put it on my keyboard right there. It's so incredibly flat and small that uh, you can pretty much just fold over your laptop screen and fit it right in the same bag. So you don't even need to like have extra like carrying case or any more bulk when you're traveling. So it's really nice for that. That's why I really like this. So it did come with like a little traveling case where you can put this in here. So you don't scratch the screen or anything, but I'll probably just put it in my laptop case with my laptop and just leave it on the side right here. So you can see I have my displays connected. Where's my mouse? I can drag over a screen now. So I could be uh, working on some videos here. Maybe I'll open up like OBS on the side. So I really like this so far. And there's uh, tons of different options. It is HDR. So let's uh, run this. So I could have OBS over here. Well, I'm recording something on my screen over here. So I'm really happy with this purchase. I think I looked at the current price on Amazon. It's uh, $9.99, so if you can get this for a deal for like 62 bucks, I would suggest this. It's 62 bucks to add extra screen. So I'm happy with it. 
<clears throat> and if we go to this, I can press this little button on the side. Uh, let's press this. And we got all these different options like brightness, contrast, echo, DCR, sharpness. Then if we hold this little button down, I believe we can switch through the different settings. So let's go hold it down and then we should be able to press down. So it's a little confusing. I was doing it before, so you can go up and down with that. So let's hold it down. There we go. And then I can select this sidebar and move up and down. And we got te uh, color temperatures, hue, saturation. Uh, we got blue light setting on here. Mine's at 10% maximum, free sync. We got volume on here, mute. We got language. And then we have uh, the different uh, input selections. So right now it's set to auto, but you can go to type C. Uh, type C2 or HDMI and let's see is there any buttons on the side there is a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack so if you want to go and plug that in there you got that as an option and the back is here uh, it's labeled headset then you got USB for power USB-C HDMI and then you get the power button uh, USB volume up and volume down or brightness so yeah I really enjoy this just as a second screen. So if you're looking at this, I think the color is pretty good. I mean, it's not a hundred dollar, like kind of like computer monitor. It's just something you're gonna be putting on the side right here. So um, I think the screen looks pretty good compared to just my uh, screen on my uh, laptop here versus this screen. You know, I was impressed with it. It looks a little bit more uh, bright and the colors look good, but just uh, be realistic with your expectations. It's not a $250 uh, 4k HDR 10 monitor it's not that great but for uh, traveling purposes I don't think you can beat this at all you can put it in the same bag and then you can go you can't do that with your fancy monitor from home but hopefully this quick little video did indeed help you out if you did leave it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel down below for more tech up videos coming up next on your six studios